My dad, when it comes to cars, is very much gas-powered cars are the way to go. They were the way to go, they still are the way to go, and they will continue to be the way to go. Gas-powered cars. He was like, in this shell. My next car, I would want it to be a Tesla. I am, I've been working towards it for a while now, and I want it to be a Tesla. And it's gonna be a Tesla next year, I guarantee it. The only problem is, my mom's on board, my girlfriend's on board, my family's on board. I wanna get my dad on board, being more closed-minded than he should be. So, I thought the best way to break him out of his shell would, to, would to be to bring him to Tesla. And have him experience the Tesla experience. So a couple months back, I went to Tesla with my mom and my girlfriend, and this time I thought I would go to Tesla with my dad and drive the Model X. So before we went to Tesla, I asked him a few questions on his perspective of gas cars, his comfort level of that. I uh, asked him a few questions on what he thought about it after, and see if that experience itself was enough to crack somebody on gas-powered cars are the only way to go. So this is how it went. Okay, so the first question, the first question is, um, what's your comfort level of a gas car, and what's your comfort level with an electric car? Well, electric car, I never had one before, so um, I wouldn't know. Um, but I'm comfortable with, with at least this car that I'm driving. This car gives me at least 20 plus miles, okay. highway and city. Okay, so if you had to say a number of 1 through 10, comfort level with a gas car, what would it be? 10, because that's what I've known all my life. Okay, and. From, from what you understand about electric cars, not that you've been in, had one or driven like a real one yet, uh -huh. what from just what you know currently, what's your comfort level of an electric car, one through ten? Um, I know that a few people got them. Personally, you know, um, I drove in one the other day with yeah. you and Priscilla, but I know that it works on battery, so I don't have to worry about gas on an electric car. If you had to give it a number of one through ten on comfort, what would what would it be? For that experience that I had, sure. Um, I'll give it a seven. What benefits do you see in a gas car? What benefits? Um, if something breaks down in a gas car, it could be cheap. There's a gas station in every. Seems like every corner there's a gas station. Parts you can buy parts that are universal. Right now you're driving a Jeep Cherokee, mm -hmm. right? What year is it? This is a 2006. 2006. How much does it cost to fill up your tank empty to full? This car empty right now? Empty de to full. It depends on the, if I was to fill it up right now, this car would probably, God, I want to say 40 bucks. Okay. okay. So right now we just finished a test drive and I asked him about his experience and some things that he may not have mentioned were that he felt like a kid again. He said, and the, and the Model X, he felt like it was a minivan that drove like a Ferrari, which is awesome because it, him saying that means that there was just so much space in the car, but yeah, it has the it has the speed to keep up with a Ferrari and all the technology in it was amazing. And then the fact that he learned about how much it costs to charge a, a, charge a car compared to how much it costs to fill up a full tank blew his mind. So I'll actually let him speak for himself so that way you can see what he said after his Tesla experience. Alright, now you finally experienced Tesla. Yes, I did. Give me your update on what you think about electric cars, how you feel about the company. Let me know. Have your thoughts changed? Let's know. Uh, about the company, I don't know. But I can definitely tell you how I feel about towards the car. Um, I, I mean, the car that we drove is, it was amazing. I felt like a little kid in a, in a toy store. Um, the power, um, I felt like I was driving a minivan. Uh, with the way with the front was. But then again, I, I felt like I had the, the driving experience of a, of a sports car, um, if that sounds weird. Uh, the gadgets in the car were just ridiculous. Uh, the music, the sound, uh, I was scared as hell <laughs> when I put it on neutral and the car was driving me. Uh, that was a scary moment. Uh, going from zero to 60, that was, it was no, I mean, like I said, the car, I mean, I definitely sold. Um, I don't know if I would personally buy one now, per se, but in the future, I can see myself buying something like that. Uh, maybe when they make, the more cars they make, I can, we can find something that's cheaper. <laughs> but uh, no, the experience was amazing. I loved it. I had a great time. Um, like I said, it was like a toy. You know, that if you get in a car, 
doing the job just the way I'm doing it now. And you, know, you figure out if you like it or not. So your comfort level of an electric car. It went from seven, seven. It went from seven to nine. To nine. To nine because that's not the car that I would buy. <laughs> But it went to seven to nine. Okay. Um, but it was amazing. I, I really had a great experience. So your experience, what would you rate it out of ten? My experience, ten. On the experience alone, it was the ten. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record anything during the test drive. They ask you not to, and I abide by their rules. I love Tesla, so I'm not trying to get in trouble with them. I want to get one, so I follow their rules. But the experience itself was great. I encourage anyone to test drive a Tesla, no matter what model is, whether you're interested in it or not, just to see the technology, it's amazing. And those guys that work there, they love taking it for test drives. Why wouldn't you? It's awesome. Anyways, that's my video for today. So I'll see you guys in the next one.